smaller place, as AJC says, you know, the Lord's really blessing, he's rebounding, so forth and so on. And all of this negative scrutiny came out because they didn't understand that I was a person that was willing to commit to something so great and something so big. And now the struggle is um, all of this negative press, probation, et cetera, et cetera. You know what? I counted a blessing today. I counted a blessing because I totally turned around because I was doing this for a person and the people around that person so that person could be happy. I was expanding my life, taking responsibility on, doing all these things to please a person that I wanted to love me. And at the end of the day, I'm embarrassed by all of the love that I took responsibility for. And this person who had it all going on decided to put her life, ministry, and her name in the blender of scrutiny and all the rest of that so that I could be loved. Now you think that I'm not going to take time to love her back and to honor and to treat her right and to remember that in my lowest days, at the pinnacle of a peak in the major churches and organizations she's preaching at, she was willing to put her name in the grinder. Oh, there's people that hate her because they wanted to be the next Mrs. Weeks. There were people that were hoping that the old Mrs. Weeks was going to be the new Mrs. Weeks again. And when you talk about the scrutiny and the hell that broke loose, she has been a gem. And that right there proves the purity of her heart, the clearing of her tent. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I wouldn't want it when, oh, Bishop Weeks has, you know, $15 million in the bank. He's still back with this and all the rest. And then somebody comes, hang in there while my name is bad because I was evicted out of a $15 million um, property and all the rest. Hang in there when it looks like I'm, I'm, I have no money in the bank and all the rest. Stay with me. Pray with me do things, and as you see me come back up with all these opportunities God still has inside of me, I'll never forget you. And one thing for sure, if she's not the happiest woman in the world, I'm sure going to try to make her that with my life. And she's never asked, and this is what I'm going to say, she has never asked for anything in this whole time. Whatever you can do, whatever it is, I'm here to be a support to you and the best friend and the greatest wife for you in the future. Wow. Prophetess, what do you have to say to anybody that is watching um, about being in ministry and doing something just a little different off the cuff that uh, people would look and frown at, that they would kind of, you know, snarl and go, what is she doing? What, what, what is going on? Why, why would she do that? You know, he's, he's cute and everything, but just the whole, how do you put them at ease? Do you want to put them at ease? Do you care? Well, number one, I don't, but then, <laughs> it, it, no, and, and, and that's, and then, but then you have to say ministry wise, I really don't care what people have to say, but when you look at it from ministry wise, this is the thing I, I don't really want to, to desire to put anyone at ease. If I feel like this, the church is hypocritical with one thing. The church says um, they have a big problem with, with divorce, but they don't have a problem with fornication. They don't have a problem with lying. They don't have a problem with not paying your tithes and offerings. They don't have a problem with gossiping. They hold divorce up to be the biggest sin in the world. But yet, if you judge a person based upon divorce, then you, the same ones that are casting the stone about divorce, if you check their history, they probably just got out the bed with somebody just a few minutes ago. But yet, they, they're casting that stone. I think we need to be careful of casting certain stones at people because one thing, God, when we truly have a repentant heart, God forgives us. He turns away from that, and repentance is change. I believe that everyone, including myself, Bishop Weeks and everyone else, has made mistakes that we all have been very regretful for. But we have a Father, which is God, that we've gone to and we've asked Him for, to forgive us. Man never lets us live our past down. We have gone on, you can have gone on and had a better future with God, be praying in your word, being positive, but man keeps bringing back up what you used to do. And that's the very key thing, and I'm gonna close with this. When Paul said, I have to forget those things which are behind me so I can press forth to those things which are before. 
It's man that keeps wanting to throw your past back up so you can't move forward. But it is God that keeps the reassurance in our spirit that I've already forgiven you. And don't look at what man has to say about you and what they and what the parameters they want to box you in, but know the word that I've placed in you, and that is God. If God be for you, then who can be against you? It is man, it is it is always in the Bible that man's plot is to come against you right before you get ready to go to your next season. I'm sure there have been many people that have heard you and said, Lexi, you're beautiful, but, but, but you're, not, you're never going to be like this singer. You're never going to be like this. But you knew somewhere in your room God told you what you were going to be. And you couldn't base your ministry based upon what others said about you because you already knew what God said about Lexi. And that's what I have to say. I know what God said first, that he was going to take me to the nations, that I would be great for, for women, men, that people would be saved, sanctified, and filled, and bodies would be healed. So I have to remember what David said when he said he prepares the table in the presence of my enemies. Not an enemy, but enemies. So I realized that when God placed me with him, there may be enemies in the camp, but all they're doing is making my table bigger. See, your enemies are really a sign to where God is getting ready to take you. So they may talk about me, they may laugh about me, but what the devil wants you to do is always focus on the few people that are talking and never see the big people that are celebrating you. Because there are a lot of people that are really celebrating. There are a lot of people that are really happy and believe in the love that we share. Of course, you have your few haters that refuse to be celebrators, but I can't look at them. Well, remember, ne Nehemiah had to stay on the wall and they wanted to pull him down. Down, we're going to stay on the wall and not allow anybody to pull us down. Exactly. Well, I'm done. Good night, church. <laughs> Good night. Uh, you, you preach that. I, I like you. I do. I like you. I wasn't going to be very honest. I didn't know you. And I, you know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just like everyone else. It's, you know, I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, he's getting married so fast, so soon. You know, is he healed? You know, I asked you that last time. Are you healed to even date? You know, um, so, but uh, I like you. I like you. Thank you and I'm not supposed to say that as, <laughs> as a journalist. I'm trying to be, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. trying to be neutral. But I see how you fell in love with her. Right. I, I, I see that. And, uh, and, and what's so exciting about. We got to close this out, Weeks, because you can go on. Forever. No, I, I got, I got, I got, with you till I got, no, I got, I got, I got 20 seconds. We're looking to, to be married, you know, very soon. Yeah. And, uh, yes, for the, the fact of, um, when this show shall air, okay. we might actually be, be married. married. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, that's part of the pause hesitation because we might be married by the time. This. I, mean, <laughs> I believe that. Yeah, you so, probably will be. Yeah. So the, the, the good thing is, is that we know we're ready. And when maturity has really hit your spirit, you know what you've been looking for. And it's really just, you know, I, I love how you put it. You know, it's none of my business. It's just not even about my opinion and what I think. Um, although I think uh, really good fit. Um, but what do I know? You know, God knows. And uh, you've, you've sought him for yourself. And, mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about. It's not about any, anything else. It's not about anybody else. Mm -hmm. it's, it's only about what God says and, and what he said to you. Um, and may I say, you know, blessings to you both. Thank you. And uh, I want you to live your, your best life ever. Thank and and so I just uh, I, I just want that for you. We will. I, yeah, whatever. We, we will. You whatever might see us in shorts and and I would uh, love to see you that. in a pair of shorts and loosened up. Oh, I, oh he's I, been I, loose. I he's been I, oh, loose. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't yeah. know that. We yeah. don't when see. I put the bow tie on, something happens yeah, to something me. Yeah, something happens and yes, you just start sitting yeah, like this. I got to do all of that stuff. I got you. Let me. Can I see your ring? Yes. God, Lee, can we get a call? Jesus, are you kidding me? Is that to Corey? What is that? He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. 